right. Here we are. All good to go. Uh, we did read that man his Miranda rights, so... Straight. But what's up, everybody who just tuned in? I think we are, uh... Here we are. Made that guy look a fool. And let's, uh... Let's carry on. Good to see everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, for never! We need to radio some of the stuff in. I have my radio codes pulled up, by the way. By way of the manual. Um, we're recording. Yes, we're recording. Um, <laughs> it's, I see that Blue Force has a hint line in the manual. 900-903 WAVE. Calls to this number are not free. You'll be charged 80 cents per minute for each call. Calls under 18 years. Callers under 18 years of age must have a parent's permission. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if we need to call that 900 number. But I have all the radio codes, so that should help us out. What's up, baby? What's up, Way? I hope you're feeling better, Way. And hello, Jeff. All right. Let's do it. Let's call in some codes here. All right, so we need to... <laughs> 1013 is a weather check. Let's do a weather check. Weather check. Dispatch, rumor one, request 1013. This is how we used to do it back in the day, kids. Before our smartphones, we'd have to steal a police bike and call in a 1013 to find out what it was going to do. And Well, right now, actually. Rumor one, dispatch 104, be advised, no change in weather, anticipate it. So what you see is what you get. All right, what else? Uh, let's do a 1015. The prisoner is in custody. Dispatch Romer 1, 1015. Suspect identified as Green Bradford. Romer 1, dispatch 104. Uh, what else do we need? We have a subject check. That's a 1027. Can we find out about this guy? Dispatch 1027. Bradford Green, I need details. Stand by. No wants or warrants. Interesting. Okay. And lastly, what else do we have? We have arrived at scene. We have cleared scene. Emergency officer officer needs assistance. Well, we we have the we resolved everything. By the way, I don't see the 1099 listed on here. That's kind of a bummer. Hopefully, there won't be any any emergencies in this game made by Jim Walls. All right, I'm at Cars Marina. We're all. We're all good to go here. Cleared the scene. I'm taking off. Okay. Sweet. Uh, no, I meant ignition. Sorry. <laughs> Exit ignition. Meh. Ignition. You know, like bikes have an ignition button. All right, where else? We, can we go see our friend uh, Green in City Hall and Jail? When I'm on the road. I'm indestructible. No one can stop me. But they try. <laughs> ben probably wouldn't appreciate me using his voice over in a police game. Jackson Beach Jail. Everyone knows that's a party jail. Hello? I'm gonna assume since we're only like, we're a rookie here, we're probably single. Let's talk to this lady. Hi, you're new here, aren't you? I've been here a couple months. Look like an ass now, don't you, Jakey? Can you answer all my questions? <laughs> all my questions. So on a woman's body, where is the... Ask me something, and we'll see. My name's Jake. What's here? <laughs> oh my god. You ever seen that movie, She's Out of Your League? Or My League, whatever it was. My friends call me Haley. You can call me Miss McCoy. Ooh... We were just playing Blade Runner. Is this Ray McCoy's, even though this game takes place 40 years in the future, uh, past wife? Well, you are here to provide information, right? That's what the sign says. Well, stop the bleeding caused by a cutting remark, Miss McCoy. Oh, God, we're trying to flirt. <laughs> oh, no. In your case, a little direct pressure. Carefully applied. Keep going. Hello, Miss McCoy. Hello, Officer Ryan. Ah, oh, she's already calling me Officer Ryan. Hello, Miss McCoy. All right. All right, is this guy single? <laughs> How's it going? Can't complain. How about you? Pretty good, thanks. 
Just tell her if you need something. Okay. Can I just, like, go through here? Is that alright? I'll be back, Miss McCoy, for more of the courtship process. <laughs> We're such a nerd. Who's this guy? He looks like the guy at the police station. Barry, what are you doing? It is Barry, with the Jalo voice. What are you doing over here? Who's over in evidence? Police procedure, Barry. I'm not Barry, I'm Larry. Barry's my brother. We're toys out of walls. <laughs> what were you thinking? How many times have I said that in the history of this channel? Oh, I can't make it up. You guys sure do look alike. They're friggin' twins, Jakey. <laughs> How you doing, Larry? I've got a real winner for you today. Man, Sonny Bonds used to say the same thing. Probably watched all of his videos. You made my day, Ryan. He looks like a real piece of work. You just fell out of booking sheet, and I'll make sure and take real good care of your buddy there. Thanks, Larry. You're a real pal. Man, that's just lazy. That's all that was. It's like we can't afford to make another, sp or we can't be bothered to make another animation of another police officer. So let's make them twins. <laughs> he seems engrossed in his work. Uh, fantastic. Jakey won. Where it all began. How you doing? Whatever your name was. I already forgotten you, Mr. Green. Enjoy your stay. I hope it's a nice long one. I got friends. They'll have me out of here before dark. Fine. I feel like you don't have any friends. <laughs> Certainly not ones that can get you out of this place. Is this what I need? Filling out the booking form will require the suspect's name, address, and other personal information. I don't think I know that. Uh... Where is it? Oh, they don't even like let me try until I have this information. I guess I got his ID right here. That all right? We might have everything we need actually. It is not a plate thing. All right, can we look at this? Personal information, found a driver's license. All right, then we'll fill out the damn form. All right, which is it? That's that. That's my Miranda card. All these things look exactly the same. What do you mean I already have it? What are you talking about? That's my ticket book. I do not already, I have a knife. I have my gun and some bullets. I have this for some reason. I have, oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see it up there. How is that having it? My inventory's down here, Jim Walls. Come on. All right. Uh, Larry? <laughs> yeah, don't act like you're cool, Larry. Here's his ID and booking sheet, Larry. He's all checked in. Thanks, Ryan. Here's your copy of the booking slip in your handcuffs. I'm going over here now. Don't call on me again. Shake you too. Alright. Good stuff. Well... That just ensured that you are in here for a nice long stay. You'll never keep me in here. We'll see. Alright. One last attempt at the seductive dance. Hello, Miss McCoy. Hello, Officer Ryan. Alright. Next time. Can you answer all my questions? Uh, what does a woman look like naked, Miss McCoy? Let's go. Let's beat. Back to the beat. Ignition. All right, where else can we go in, here in town? Is there a blue room equivalent where all the officers hang out? We probably don't know yet. The hell is Jameson and Ryan? It's like a realtor company. Grandma Franny, yes, please. Hang out with her. Oh, the alley cat. You know the alley cat is where we're doing that. Bikini hut? Oh my god, this town has everything. A rookie officer could possibly of the Jackson Beach, Beach Police Force could possibly want. Let's check in this evidence right quick. <laughs> There's a bar for the officers, but they don't won't tell you where it is. Probably a good move on their part, actually. 
Bad men flirt with me just as badly as Officer Ryan. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Probably a lot of Jake Ryans out there in this big world of ours. Just praying a woman one day will call him Jakey. What's this? Didn't I give this guy to him? I guess he... I guess he gave that to me. Okay. Alright, this knife is his. Barry, I'm not trying to stab you here. I'm just trying to check this in. I'm so rude. How are you doing, Barry? How's it going, Barry? We got the best garage sale in town, right? That's bad game design, too. Not that I'm trying to make it a point to call out all the instances, but, like, we just met this guy's twin brother in any other universe would be like, by the way, Barry, I didn't know you had a twin brother. I just met him. But no. <laughs> I don't see how that's relevant to the current situation. I'm not trying to shoot you, Barry. This is the guy's pea shooter. I'd hate to see him get it back. From what I heard about the bus, it's not likely he'll ever see it again. Anything else we need to give this guy? We still have the guy's ID. I guess not. Okay. We all good? Do you want this booking report, by the way? Come on, rookie. Booking slip go in Sutter's mailbox. That... Alright, hold on. Is that what this is? <laughs> Locker rooms and main entrance. Is that this? Alright, hopefully we'll just know the right one, even though it's our first day. better save in case Jim Walls is like, you put that on the wrong box. That is not p correct police procedure. <sighs> it's a play thing in any other box, but put in the right one. Good work, detective or officer. Anything else? Can I get another briefing? I want a another shot at that donut. All right, back to the beat. Yeah, I think I said it. One person in every game that doesn't already have narration needs to have a Jawa voice. It just happens to be Barry and Larry, which for obvious reasons share the same voice. They're twins. Back on the beat. All right, where are we going now? City Hall, Bikini Hut. Not sure we should go there during our shift. Tony's Bar! I have a bar in this universe. That's great. Good for me. Just idling right now. Child Protective Services. I know that place well, sadly. Is that everything we have access to? Let's go to my bar, I guess, right? I don't know. I, I, they're not giving any clues as to where else I should go right now. I assume something's just gonna happen en route to my bar. What? Passing through the tower district en route to your destination, you pull over a pickup. Were they doing anything wrong or are you just, <laughs> just testing out to make sure the old cherry still works? The driver has been driving recklessly and apparently trying to avoid you. Well, that's not out of the unusual. <laughs> Most people are trying to avoid us. The truck idles at the curb, the occupants wearing gang colors, steal a nervous glance in your direction. Fair. Wait, what? Don't get out. I didn't tell you to get out. I haven't been able to do anything yet. Hold up. This is all moving very fast. Jakey 3. What happened? Jakey... Jakey 3. <laughs> That's when we get really cool. Rather than poking around, you should stick to your job. It's pronounced Jaki. Get in my face and I'll pop you. That's the dude that was working at the jail just a second ago. He's just wearing a headband. <laughs> Come on, you're not in a gang, dude. You work at the jail. Stay where you are and I'll put your hands in the air. Just do it. She, yo, home. that guy doesn't talk like that. That's like a Jim Walls type. He's not saying, yo, Holmes, you pushing this blank too far, man. I've said one thing to you. 
All right, let's get that gun out. I don't have time for this. No need to use your gun here. We're just having a nice chat right now, I guess. I said, put your hands in the... You dared, sucker. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm laughing so hard. I'm watching Jake get a bullet right through the skull, but... They say you never hear the bullet that kills you, but you distinctly remember a little voice screaming, Call for backup in the tower district, just before feeling the slug enter your head. I tried pulling my gun out. It's not my fault. All right. Back to the pubic hair. Let's reload. Jakey three. Jakey. Jakey three. All right. One second, sir. I need to call this in. Did he just get back in his truck? No, that's a different guy. Okay, that's the passenger. All right. Back up. Uh, let's see. Uh, back up. 1035. Dispatch rubber one. Request 1035. Cool. 33 is momentarily. Victor 33. I hope that's not Bruno Kirby again. He dicked me over last time putting his gun down. Do I need to... We also have a 1097 that says I'm here. Routine traffic stop. I don't know. The guy's about to shoot me in the head for a routine traffic stop, but... One second, sir. I got this guy backing me up. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, it's Bruno Kirby again. What's the deal, Jake? These guys are acting pretty suspicious. Watch them while I check it out. I'm <laughs> talking in clear earshot of this guy. The Jim Walls gang member. <laughs> oh, so silly. Jake, three. No, I'm sorry. Every time Doug shows... Wait, what did that say? That doesn't matter. Every time Doug shows up for temp, because he's he's on probation, that Dougie, after leaving me on out high, high and dry. All right, let's. Can we get our guns out now, unaccountably? All right, I'll follow your lead. <laughs> yeah, I'll get shot in the head after you do. Get in my face and I'll pop you, man. Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. We're pushing it. Oh, that time you listen to reason. Keep your hands where I can see them. Damn, Holmes. Why are you riding my jock, man? That's more his voice. Watch the other guy, Doug. I'll deal with this clown. Go for it, Jake. I've got you covered. <laughs> my, my walking in the traffic. <laughs> Why are you two trying to lose me? You hiding something in the truck? I don't gotta tell you nothing, man. I watch TV. I know my rights. Come on, hotshot. What's in the truck? I don't know, Holmes. You tell me. You to chump with the badge. Thanks for the invitation, mouth. Mouth? I don't gotta take that S from you, man. Don't push me, man. I'll bust a cap in yo ass. I'm gonna throw the book at you, slime ball. Assume the position. You'd like that, huh, S? Not that guy's voice. Let's not talk like that. All right. Let's pat him down. Well, well, what are we here? Didn't your mama tell you carrying a concealed weapon is a felony? What you looking for is a little lower and to the left, chump. Well, see if you're still such a wise ass after you've been booked for possession of a concealed weapon. At the jail, my girlfriend works there. <laughs> Miss McCoy. Soon to be Miss, uh... I forgot my own last name, sir. Stand by. Uh, I'm having too much fun. All right. Jakey four. Or Jakey four. Jake, I'm sorry. Jake Ryan, thank you. The boxer from Super Punch Out. Anything else you want to say to him? Guess not. <laughs> Keep your hands off me, pig. 
All right, have you got this guy, Bruno Kirby? I want to check this. We get this guy out of the uh, out of the truck. Driver, step out of the vehicle slowly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Holmes, this is S, man. We didn't do nothing. Step out of the vehicle now. Bruno, get a gun on this guy. They're wearing matching brown outfits, and they got their little yellow head. That's so cute. You were trying pretty hard to lose me. What do you got to hide? Lose you what, Bo? I got nothing to hide from you, pig ass. Yo, Holmes. Hide this. You can't do nothing to me, man. Just back the hell off me, man. Alright, I'm gonna cuff you too. Hold on. Oh no, I only have one set. Bruno Kirby! Doug, cuff that little life. With pleasure, Jake. <laughs> Bruno already dropped his gun. <laughs> He dropped his gun when he got the call. <laughs> oh, I love that that's his rep now. All right. Do you even know to frisk him after you do that, Doug? Not a very efficient frisk. I did that in half the time with my perp. All right, I'm gonna check the car. Watch these two guys, Doug. I wanna check the truck. No problem, Jake. Let's go have a seat in the car, gentlemen. Glad he showed up. There's not a lot of uh, room in the back seat of my bike. All right. Oh, this is much more relaxing now. I have the screen to my side. Ah, Bruno Kirby. After you, Jake, I'll follow your lead. Jakey four. <laughs> That's code for I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I showed that in our first mission together. All right, let's look around here. Upholstery feels like any other. Well, that's not upholstery, Jake. Go to driver's ed next time. The webbing feels strong enough. Good, a lot of perps don't have adequate webbing. Aha! You got what looks like a shotgun or an assault rifle or something? What the hell is this? A rifle and the wig, is that? <laughs> that's, that's, okay. Check that glove box. Is that not the, uh, not the glove box? What? Cigarettes? Oh, cartridges. <laughs> that's why I'm not a cop. We just... Have that six senses of police officer. That's everything there is to find in that truck. I think I will wear the wig next time I talk to Miss McCoy. With her first name and everything. Don't remember off offhand. Got a fully automatic government issue assault rifle here, Doug. Take him in and I'll be down to book the guy with that cup. Yeah, do it. I didn't read him his rights, is that a problem? <laughs> I realize. I didn't, uh, oh well. They, they really move it along too quickly, like, I noticed when I went back and read the guy his rights back at the, uh, on the boat, that obviously if you just talk to the guy a few times, he's like, alright, that's it, and he leaves. Like, I really wish they wouldn't do that, I wish you would have to read him his rights before he could just leave, or at least do something more obvious to make him go away, but we're probably going to lose some points, let some riffraff back on the streets, but oh well. Alright. Is there anything, do we need to like check the, uh, like run the plates or anything? Is this at all related to our filet? Yeah. 9mm ammunition. Well, we did pick up some shells, didn't we? Here we go. Is that three cartridge? Okay, cartridges. Yeah, for the assault rifle. That's not the same thing at all, is it? Alright. Fair enough. Well, let's, let's get a move on. Oh, are we going to the jail? 
Oh, I should like, I should, I should call this in before we leave. Gotta do the whole leaving the air. Where am I right now? Sort of in no man's land. Oh, that's not good for us. Oh, well. We're muffing this up left and right. Whatever. It's all good. Just say that you did in the report. All right. I don't even need to come back here. I just wanted to chat with you again, Miss McCoy. Damn it. Man, I think that's the thing I'm going to hate most about this game. Nothing is ever going to happen between... I, not even happen. Like, there's just going to never be any more dialogue between the two of us. Damn you, Jim Wallace. You just don't understand women. All right, did they uh, swap out the perps? Look at them. A little matching. Have a nice day, homie. You better watch your back. I know who you are. Enjoying your stay. I'm sure you'll find the accommodations to your liking. I mean, that's... It's such a tired joke being like, Oh, but jail's a luxury hotel. Come on. It got old midway through the first police quest game, but... I won't be in here long enough to find out. Anyway. Hey Larry, what's shaking? I see you're already looking after this pair of upstanding citizens. You bet, Ryan. You better take it easy on the streets or I'm gonna run out of space. Never happen, Larry. I just need the paperwork on Sandoval. Harrison already booked the other guy. Coming up, Larry. I don't know anything about this guy. I guess I could have called it in. What is this? Oh, good, I have it. Oh, thank goodness. Boom. All right. You want his ID? Do you want this? He's all checked in. Thanks, Orion. Here's your handcuffs. I need to go over here again. All right. Done and done. Dinner tonight? <sighs> Such a mismatch, but I want it to happen so badly. Because we ain't got nobody else to play, you know? Man, Sonny Bonds would have those digits in seconds. Johnny Westland, minutes. Jakey Ryan, not in this century. Anyway, do I need to call anything in at this point? Let's see. Uh, can I get a... Can I find out about that guy? Do I still have the ID? I kind of want to find out more. Like, hold on. Let's save under Jakey. And let's reload Jakey 4 right quick. Just kind of curious. See if this does anything for us. Call in a 10-27. Here we go. Let's see what they say about these guys. This is worth our time. No wants or warrants. Uh, yeah, I'll take losing some points. I don't really care that. He already left. Bruno Kirby's like, yo, you don't say nothing. To... I'm just going to get going. I'm sorry, Jakey won. All right. Let's, uh, let's check. I kind of want to visit my grandma, but maybe not with the assault rifle. And maybe not in my full police garb. Maybe we'll get uh, off off shift. Maybe this will be the end of our shift. That's what I'm trying to say. Done a lot. I will say. Again, not trying to shoot you, Barry. Got some great toys for you today, Barry. Looks like you've been busy, Ryan. Somebody's gotta keep the bad guys in their place. I found this wig, too. It's sexy. I think I might wear it. Oh, okay. Guess you can have it. Take those, too. Guess that's everything. All the rest of the stuff's mine, isn't it? 
And this is the booking slip. Let's turn this into. All right. We done for the day? Can I clock out? Come on, I'm gonna to go to Tony's bar. What? After being called before a commanding officer, he's given bad news for dereliction of duty, failure to book evidence. What? What didn't I book? I work at the Quickie Mart? I mean, there's worse jobs. <laughs> Stop right there! I happen to know you only paid for a 16 ounce Slurpee when I saw you take a 20 ounce! Alright, what'd we forget? It seems stupid. What else does he want? Do you want this hook? Do you want my gun? Do you want my blood? I'll kill you! Oh, he had a gun? That wasn't my gun? Oh, okay. <laughs> now we can quit. He just knows. He's like, that's why Barry's so good at his job. He can sense when you've given him all the evidence. He's like, now you have the rest of the day off. Okay. <laughs> Barney Fife really told you all. <sighs> Gotta pay the difference for those four ounces, sir! All right, where's my motorbike over here? We love our motorbikes. Oh, no radio. Okay. I'm gonna see my grandma. <laughs> Not sure that's the best use of that, uh, that little, little song right there, but that melody. I guess this is my grandma, not just some random grandma Franny that everyone knows and checks in on. She has the best. Franny! Best Apple Brown Betty. Does she have multiple televisions? Oh, those are portraits. Who's that? Oh, it's my dad and there's me. Looks like they're taken on the same day, unaccountably. <laughs> Chicago Bulls? Look! Clouds! I didn't even call that in. That TV looks amazing. It seems like the TV is always on. Hi, Grandma. Oh, Jake, Child Protective Services called for you earlier. <laughs> I keep telling him, Grandma, I'm 37 years old. <laughs> they don't need to check up on me anymore. Oh, the little boy Skip seems to have lost a baseball card at the moment. That's not my responsibility, Grandma. The caseworker wanted you to try to find it and bring it down to the CPS building tonight if you can. Why is that my responsibility? I'm a police officer, damn it. I saved that boy's mother's life, isn't that enough? I gotta find him his friggin' baseball card on top of it? Jeez. Part of the service now, I guess. Skip is hysterical over losing it and they're hoping the card will help calm him down. Not my problem. He'll be calmed down when he realizes his mom's still alive. What are they calling me for? I've had a long day. Damn right, Jakey. Jake, I'm surprised at you. That little boy has certainly had a more difficult day than you have. Has he? I got shot in the head earlier <laughs> in an alternate reality. I'm dead. I thought I raised you better than that. Just to remind you, his parents are dead. Okay, so we didn't go into foster care. Grandma raised us. But Gran, do you remember the time your father, God rest his soul, went out and got you that special baseball, co baseball card when you broke your leg? That poor little boy doesn't have a father. You of all people should know what it's like. Are we all on the same page? Do we all know what's happening in the plot? Heavy handed as that explanation was. You're right, Gran. I guess I just didn't think. Thinking I just wanted to get drunk and call Miss McCoy up, take her out for a nice spaghetti dinner. Maybe I'll bring the kid and his mom home for dinner. That might help calm. Oh, okay. She's single. Well, we know she's single now, don't we? We just booked her uh, partner today. Will that be okay, Gran? Of course, Jake. Dinner would be fine. It's a pot roast, so there's plenty. All right. Hell yeah. Well, that lady at the jail seems like a dead end. We've literally reached the end of our conversation chain, so. 
This room is so familiar, and sometimes you think it can talk. <laughs> Alright, where's the phone? I'm calling her right now. I don't have her number or anything, but... You can't afford to put on any more weight. Oh, I see what they're saying about me. They're body shaming me. They look okay. Wow, look at the computer room, everybody. Fun. Let's play some Doom, or whatever would have been fashionable in 1993. 94, I suppose the game takes place. You can't use the computer while Granny is optimizing the hard drive. Alright, Granny. We all know what that's code for. It's fine. Nothing in the file cabinets will help you. Nothing happens. Your grandfather used to spend hours in this office. Trophy was presented to your grandfather in 76 and was voted best Santa Claus of the season. He had a big old trophy for that? Or the Lions Club for a community involvement. Some of your grandmother's watercolors, which she dabbles time to time. What case built in the walls holds the material your grandparents have collected over the years. This is nice. Oh, there's the, uh... Really, the flag from my father's coffin doesn't have a description? <laughs> Jim Walls. Wow. I like that the, uh... The, the best Santa Claus trophy has a description. Not the flag draped over the coffin my father was buried in. Damn, Jim Walls. The one cold mother. Chair's okay. Why'd you sit down if you can't do anything in here? <laughs> Grant is farming Bitcoin. I love that. Oh, we have a nice cozy fire despite the fact that it's... Well, we do have a jacket on. Alright. I don't know. How do I... How do I find that lady? Do I go to child services? Oh, we gotta look for the baseball card first. For some reason, this is my responsibility. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.